Hello my dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are continuing with our alternating current. In alternating current, already we learned about the AC source. If it is applied to a resistor, how V and I will be changing. How it will be changing? Both are in phase no change at all that means if we are applying a voltage in the case of resistor if i am applying an ac source like v equals vm sin omega t we will be getting the current as im sin omega t both don't have any phase difference but if I am applying an inductor, while I am applying an inductor through an AC source to the same voltage, voltage as Vm sin omega t, but the current I got it as Im sin omega t minus pi by 2. That is current is lagging behind the voltage by a factor pi by 2. Okay. Now, uh, this next today we are going to study about the when an AC source is applied to a capacitor what will happen AC voltage applied to a capacitor or a condenser applied to a capacitor now here this will be the circuit and AC source Along with that, I am applying a capacitor. I am connecting a capacitor. How the current and voltage, how it will be changing. The voltage applied in the, cap in the AC sources, Vm sin omega t. Now, we are going to find out the current. What will be the current uh, developed in the circuit? How we can find out? V is related as V equals Q by C. Now, tell me what is Q? V and C are the known values here, right? So, it is Q equals CV. Now, what will be the current developed? How we can find out the current? I is equal to DQ by DT. Instead of Q, what we can write? CV. In that C is a constant. So, it is DV by DT. Now, we are going to differentiate V. V is Vm sin omega T. In that peak value of voltage is constant, right? So, it is equal to C into Vm d by dt of sin omega t. Okay, what is the differential of this uh, sin omega t? That one we can write it as I equals C into Vm into sin omega t difference, differential is cos omega t into omega. First we need to find out sin theta. Differential of sin theta is cos theta. Again omega t is a, a function of time, right? So we should again differentiate that and we will get it as omega. Here we will get the final answer as omega c vm cos omega t. Okay, now we can write it as I equals V by R as per Ohm's law. Then, can you find out what will be the R value here? See here, Vm will be equal to, Vm will be is equal to the voltage. Then what will be the maximum value of current? This one I am writing it as I equals Im cos omega t. Or I can write it as Im sin omega t plus pi by 2. In this way I can write down. Now we can find out the value of Im. Instead of Im what is, what is here? Im will be equal to omega c into Vm. Okay. The rest of the things I am writing over here. Here in this part. Im equals Vm omega c. I equals V by R. So, comparing these two equations, what is the value of R here? This Im, I am rewriting it as Vm divided by 1 by omega c. So, what is R? R is equal to 1 by omega c or I can say this as the capacitive reactance. 
capacitive reactance is equal to 1 by omega c or i'll write it as x c equals 1 by omega c so as capacitance increases what will happen to the capacitive reactance it is decreasing because x c equals 1 by omega c as c increases reactance decreases capacitive reactance decreases capacitive reactance will be having the same value that of uh, resistance that is unit is same dimensional same everything is same only so as capacitance increases reactance will be or resistance will be decreasing so more current will be flowing through the circuit as capacitor decreases what will happen resistance will be increasing and less current will flow through the circuit clear now well, we got the value of xc xc equals 1 by omega c you are remembering right here in the case of uh, inductor we got xl as omega l but here in the case of capacitor, how we are getting capacitor or conductor? If V equals Vm sin omega d and we are getting I as equal to Im sin omega t plus pi by 2. Okay, then Xc value is 1 by omega c. This is the Xc value here. Now, here while we are compa comparing this voltage and current, what is, whether they are in phase or out of phase, how you are feeling? It is out of phase. Whether it is lagging or leading, it is lead omega t plus pi by 2. So, it is leading by a factor. What is the amount of factor there? Pi by 2. So, the current will be leading the voltage by a factor pi by 2 clear so x c equals 1 by omega c that also an important equation now clear for you now we are going to find out what will be the power dissipated in the circuit and we will draw the phasor diagram also now we are going to draw the phasor diagram phasor diagram for a uh, this for the circuit if AC voltage is applied to a capacitor how the phasor diagram will be how uh, first we are going to draw the waveform okay this is for a voltage V equals Vm sin omega t this maximum value is the voltage Vm okay this uh, gives the voltage form voltage wave i equals i m sin omega t plus pi by 2 or we can write it as i equals i m cos omega t right or i m sin omega t plus pi by 2 so i value will be reaching pi by 2 earlier than the voltage value so that means here 0 this pi by 2 this is 2 pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 2 this is 4 pi by 2 okay so whatever value getting for pi by 2 that will be reaching this just pi by 2 value earlier pi by 2 value earlier means so at 0 itself it will be showing the value of pi by 2 at pi this pi by 2 it will be showing the value of pi at pi it will be showing the value of 3 pi by 2 at 2 pi it will be showing the at 3 pi by 2 it will be showing the value of 2 pi so that, like that it will continue in the case of it will be means current will be showing the value of uh, voltage right so here now what will be the magnitude of what will be the magnitude of im im will be equal to vm divided by 1 by omega c right so this uh, omega im value will be less than the vm value and which will be greater than the uh, see which will be reaching pi by 2 earlier than vm so maximum value of vm im will be getting over here and next is minimum value next here it will be maximum value here it will be minimum value so it will be reaching earlier okay clear this is how this one we are getting it as im sin omega or cos omega t 
sin omega t plus pi by 2 or cos omega t. So while we are drawing this as a phasor diagram, here I am representing like this. See this is the voltage value, right? So in between if I am taking one point omega t1 representing here. So this will be the V value for omega t1. And by that time when it is reaching here, current will be reaching which point current will be reaching at this point, right? So current will be reaching here, that is pi by 2 ahead. In the anti-clockwise direction only rotation is happening, right? So this is pi by 2. This is about the current and this is about the voltage. Clear? If you want, you can represent in the maximum value itself. That and all your wish. So if we are representing in the maximum value, how the, this V will be getting? Instead of get, taking this omega T1, if I am considering the maximum value for pi by 2, this phasor diagram. So these three maximum values I am considering. So this will be the V and this will be for the current like this. These two are by a factor pi by 2 and here it is omega t. Right. So it will be pi by 2 ahead. Clear phasor diagram. After completing the phasor diagram what we should do? We should find out the instantaneous power. What is the formula for finding out the power developed? Power equals V into I. That is Vm sin omega t into Im cos omega t. So while considering these two, Vm into Im into sin omega t cos omega t, how I can write down sin 2 omega t by 2. Sin 2 theta divided by 2. So this is the instantaneous power. If we are finding out the average power. So yesterday also we did it in the same way. Vm Im by 2 is constant. Taking it outside, sin 2 omega t. What is the average of sin 2 omega t? That is equal to 0. So we are getting the average power in the AC circuit. AC voltage applied to a capacitor. Average power is equal to 0. Clear? Average power is equal to 0 in the case of a capacitive circuit. And average power is equal to 0 in the case of an inductive circuit. Clear? So now we will do some numerical based on that. First question, a lamp is connected in series with a capacitor. Predictor observation for AC and DC connection. What happens in each case if capacitance of the capacitor is reduced? Okay, if uh, to a bulb, if I am first I am connecting a DC circuit. What will happen if a capacitative circuit is connected across a bulb? What will happen? Connected through a bulb, what will happen? That means, see, circuit is like this. And a bulb also here. How the glow of bulb will be? DC is applied. What will happen while DC is applying? The capacitor will start charging. Starts charging. Okay, it will start charging when it is coming to the fully charged capacitor. After that, no current will flow through the bulb. So after that, when it fully charged, when it charged fully, after that, no current will flow. No current will flow through the circuit. Clear? Next, in the case of AC circuit, what will happen when current is passing through the circuit? What will happen to the current? Current will be equal to Vm divided by 1 by omega c. Okay, so here as the capacitor increases, what will happen to the resistance? Resistance will decrease. If resistance is decreasing, more current will flow through the circuit and the glow will start increasing. If the capacitor is increasing, glow will start increasing in the case of a capacity if we are applying an AC source. Okay, but DC source means it won't flow. It, uh, the current won't flow in the, in the case of a DC circuit but in the case of an AC circuit, current will be flowing through the circuit. Clear? 
So next question is, this is a previous year question. A 15 microfarad capacitor is connected to a 220 volt 50 hertz source. Find the capacitative reactance and the current in the circuit. If the frequency is doubled, what happens to the capacitative reactance and current? So a 15 microfarad capacitor, C is equal to 15 microfarad, that means 10 to the power minus 6 farad is connected to a 220 volt V equals that is this is VRMS or V maximum VRMS is equal to 220 volt frequency is given as 50 uh, hertz find the capacitative reactance that means XC we should find out XC is equal to 1 by omega C 1 by 2 pi nu C New value we already have, C value we have. You can find out XC. Next is uh, this RMS current, high RMS we should find out. High RMS how we can find out? V RMS divided by XC. V RMS is 220 divided by XC you will get the I RMS value. And the peak value of current. I RMS if we have how we can find out the peak value of current? I RMS, I maximum will be equal to I RMS into root 2. Okay, this will give you the peak value of current and if the frequency is doubled what happens to the capacitative reactance if frequency is doubled frequency doubled means to new dash equals 2 into new then omega equals 2 pi omega dash equals new that is 4 pi new so omega dash is equal to 2 into omega so reactance is omega is increasing if omega dash is increasing, what happens to XC dash? XC dash will be decreasing. Okay, capacitative reactance will be decreasing over there. Clear? So that's all for today. These are the important questions, the important topic in this today's portion. Now you should understand that V equals Vm sin omega t and current will be lagging the, uh, so, sorry, leading the voltage by a factor pi by 2 and capacitative reactance is equal to 1 by omega c. Clear? So I am winding up for today. In next class I will be coming with the next portion that is LCR circuit. Inductance, capacitance and reactant, uh, resistor. Everything, three together how we can solve. Okay, so I hope it is clear for you. If you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.